Hi all and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another sketchbook tour and this one is of my February drawing prompts and it is in a Stillman and Burn beta series. I believe that this is the three inches by five inches if I remember correctly. But uh, full sketchbook completed here in February based off of my February drawing prompts. I will make sure to note those somewhere in case you'd like to do them. And honestly, I had a ton of fun working on this. I tried to focus more on being more loose in my movements and not just getting down to the nitty gritty details. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So first page here, we have the dates that I did it. So February 1st to February 28th of 2022. And then we have the drawing prompts. So just so that it was easier for me to reference than pulling up my Instagram to see what the that list was. So our very first one is Doodle. And this one I had a ton of fun with. I just grabbed some micro aligners and just drew whatever came to mind. And so that was fun just to kind of unload some energy. And then for day two, we had Groundhog. Now I know I said that I was gonna stay looser in this sketchbook, but I had a ton of fun working on this ballpoint pen drawing for Groundhog's Day. And I would say it's definitely my most detailed drawing in this sketchbook because I really did try to push myself to uh, you know, not go into every single little detail, but this was a ton of fun to work on. And then for day three, we have bubble gum. So I had to do some hubba bubba bubble gum and I decided to put taste like the nineties cause hubba bubba does taste like the nineties. And so yeah, I just did that with some uh, Faber Castell polychromos and some of my micro liners. So really like how that turned out. And then on to something red. And so I did some M&Ms and played around with my gouache, just trying to use it more like watercolor and have some lighter color ranges in there instead of just necessarily, you know, the really super opaque and saturated colors. And on to candy hearts. Now I always love candy hearts around Valentine's Day. I especially love the little white ones, but did this with the jelly gouache and then uh, went back over with some pen and then I believe I used Posca pen to be able to write in the letters just because I felt like that would be easier than doing it with paintbrush. So yeah, there's my little Valentine's Day candy hearts. And then for day six or drawing six, I did something pink. And so I had started out uh, with alcohol markers and then I went back in on the top with some jelly gouache just to add in some extra detail. And then I also used the micro liners to add in some fun other details to kind of cover up the whole page. I think that'd make like a fun, fun print to uh, have on fabric or something. And for day seven, we have Fox. So I started out with a more realistic rendering of a fox. I did it with ballpoint pen and then went back over it with my favorite Castell Polychromos to add in some color and then blocked in the back with that jelly gouache. And since I did this fox, I also had to do this fox. Uh, some of you may recognize this. This is Larry, my youngest. His uh, stuffed animal that he takes with him everywhere is a little fox and he named him Larry. And so I couldn't have this fox without this fox. So just did a quick drawing with uh, the gouache just to have Larry in the sketchbook as well, because it only seemed fair. And then for day eight, we did cupcake. So I have a muffin and a cupcake here off to the left. And in all honesty, isn't a cupcake just a muffin, but with frosting? right? It's the same thing. So over here, I decided to draw a muffin chasing a container of frosting so that it could then become a cupcake. And yeah, uh, it made me laugh 
because when I was drawing those out, I'm like, wait, what's the difference? I don't know what the difference between a muffin and a cupcake is other than the frosting on the top. Maybe there is a difference or maybe there's not. And then after cupcake, we had pizza. Oh yeah, look at that huge slice of pizza. So I did more of the gouache, which you're probably gonna hear me say a lot in the sketchbook just because I really did try and push myself on materials, but did a gouache pepperoni and green olive pizza pizza. And I mean, it's it's pretty lifelike. It's pretty, pretty sized, like a, a slice of pizza I'd like to eat. Makes me hungry every time I look at it. But that was fun to work on. And then drawing 10 is umbrella. And so for this one, I did the background all in black and white. So you have your birds, your clouds, your sea. And I just like the idea that instead of it being dark underneath the umbrella, that that's where you see the light, that that's where you see the beautiful blue oceans and the chair. And so just kind of a different <laughs> mindset on, yeah, I don't know. I love it. And then for day 11, we have flour. So going back to the gouache, I just started out adding some in and then gradually just added more colors. And once I had that all blocked in, I went back in with a Posca pen and added some, I don't know, vibrations around the petals. So I really like how that turned out. And after flour, we had beverage and for this I decided to do a jaritos in the fruit punch. We had been having taco night that night and I had gotten these for the kids because I thought it just made it a little bit more fun and decided to draw one. So used the gouache and then some gel pens to make a realistic within reason uh, bottle of jaritos and in the fruit punch flavor which is my personal favorite. So yeah, like how that whole page turned out. And then on to radio. So I did two drawings for radio. Off to the left here, we have like an older style radio at a radio nursery looking at new baby radios. <laughs> I don't know, I it's the first thing that came to mind when I thought of radio. And so that's what I drew, cause yeah. Sometimes I have quirky little ideas and he seems like, you know, shocked about the babies. <laughs> and then I also just did a gouache painting of a radio, tried to keep it more fluid than what I um, tend to do. I tend to like get into all the nitty gritty details of a drawing or a painting. And so stopped myself from adding in like all the numbers and the AM, FM and all the lettering. So. Believe it or not, that's an improvement for me to, to stop. <laughs> and then after radio, we had Cupid. And I drew two Cupids because I didn't know if I wanted like an adorable, cute little Cupid or a dude as Cupid. <laughs> and so I drew both. And I did these with alcohol markers. And I really love the way this whole spread turned out. It just makes me smile and laugh every time. I love the pink little clouds and yeah, it's just funny and cute. <laughs> I mean, he may not be as cute as this one, but I, I thought it was pretty great. And after Cupid, we have football. So for football, I just painted a football using that gouache again uh, and just drawing the pattern. I really like the little dot pattern on the top of a football. I don't know if there's like a technical term for that, but decided to just do a football sitting in grass. I don't know a whole lot about sports. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I felt like I was pretty safe doing, you know, just a football sitting in grass. <laughs> and then after football is probably one of my favorite drawings. Ready for this? It was my paper plane drawing. It's a paper plane airport. So you got your little paper planes over here. They're landing. You got your stick figures who are like waving them in. You got a paper plane taking off. Another one getting ready to take off. 
you your airport terminal and like some cute little mountains and clouds in the background. And then you have repairs. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. Okay, so you have your tape because you know, you gotta fix your paper airplane sometimes, you know, they, they have issues when they're flying or landing. So you have your, your dudes carrying your, your tape to go over and fix one. And then you got some <laughs> paper clips, you know, add a little bit of weight, weight distribution for all the luggage. You get your luggage falling out of the back of this one. I don't know. I think this is hilarious. Uh, sorry if you don't, because I do. And yeah, I couldn't stop laughing as I was drawing this. And then after paper plane, we have watercolor. And this was just a page where I used uh, the different jelly washes and just kind of blocked in color and had fun having them like spread into one another. And yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think it would make a really fun, uh, like a print or a phone case. I think it'd make a really cool fun phone case actually. But yeah, that was fun. And I liked that it didn't require a whole lot of like thought. It was just playing with colors and pushing them around on the paper. All right, and then up next we have Dinosaur. And for Dinosaur, um, these are my kids' dinosaurs. They have them like placed amongst all my plants because I have a ton of plants. And so I just took a picture of the one near my uh, string of turtles the one day. I don't remember what kind of plant this is, but I just took a picture of it because I thought it'd be a great way to incorporate dinosaurs that I don't know, maybe you weren't expecting. Were you expecting to see dinosaurs with a string of turtles? I thought not. And so just used the gouache again and then went back over with some, some pencils just to darken up some of the colors that I wanted and add a little bit more detail. And after dinosaur, we have monster truck. So get your big jump. You got your like balls of fire over here. Then you got your monster truck jumping up into the sky and we have named him Pizza Crusher. <laughs> he has a pizza flag. He has pizza on the back. Uh, yeah, I love pizza. I consider myself a pizza crusher. So I thought what better way to uh, name my monster truck. My kids love monster trucks. They probably have all of those little monster trucks that you can buy from Hot Wheels. So why not have one named Pizza Crusher? <laughs> Once again, done with gouache and then went back over with the illustration markers and some white gel pen slash Posca pens to add some lighter details. After Monster Truck, we have Birdhouse. And for this, I decided to do a like tiki pole style birdhouse. I don't know, I thought that it would be like a fun birdhouse because then you could have like a birdominium because you have birds, birds, you got birds in the background. Is that what it would be called, a birdominium? Condominium, I don't know, <laughs> I'll have to think about that. Anyway, I, Really like how this turned out. Just a fun idea for a different type of birdhouse other than like your typical birdhouse, like the, the little triangles. And it has a little hole. <laughs> so yeah, uh, once again, uh, actually did watercolor with this one and then went back over it with some illustration pens and some colored pencils just to add in a little bit of extra color. And after Birdhouse, we have Rainbow. And this one actually means something to me. So it says Desire to Inspire. And this is something that I have put at the beginning of all of my sketchbooks since middle school. And I don't know, it may not mean a lot to you guys. It, that's always been my, my thing. I've, I've wanted to inspire others to pursue their dreams and to reach their full potential, especially if I can inspire somebody creatively. Like I, art's my thing. Anyway, so this just means something to me. I know it may not seem like much, but desire to inspire. 
in yeah <laughs> and after rainbow I had hearts and so for this one I used uh, some illustration pens in red. Um, I think they were actually the Stedler red, like fine liners. And then also used some alcohol markers to add in some of the bigger sections of color. But just kind of went back to the doodling idea. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. All right, and so after hearts, we have favorite food. Can you guess? Can you guess? It's donuts! I mean, I figured I'd already done pizza, so donuts was a given for favorite food. And went back to, you guessed it, the jelly gouache. And so we got like an old fashioned donut, cherry donut, blueberry donut. Then I had to have a couple sprinkles because that's what my kids would want. And yeah, I am really happy with how this page turned out. Trying to keep those looser movements and not go into all the nitty gritty details. I did want to like go into all the details of the sprinkles and so that was hard kind of holding myself back. And then after favorite food is favorite animal. So my favorite butterfly is the western tiger swallowtail so I did a drawing of that here. Um, did it with alcohol markers and then decided to do the background in a gold watercolor. And then for my something that leaps, I bet you guys were thinking I was going to do a frog. Boy, were you wrong. <laughs> for something that leaps, I decided to do my puppy, Frida. She is a six month old German short hair pointer. And in case you didn't know, those dogs can really leap. Like <laughs> the height that she can get is amazing. So what better way to not only incorporate my puppy into my sketchbook but into a drawing prompt something that leaps miss frida and then after something that leaps we have a box of chocolates now i'm not a huge chocolate person my kids would be the ones to eat the chocolates and i would do like maybe like the chocolate covered cherries but i don't really gravitate towards chocolate i gravitate towards like a bag of chips <laughs> And so here is that drawing once again in the gouache, just trying to keep it looser and then went back in with some Posca pens to add in some final details on the top. But like how that turned out. And then for drawing 27, we have Pokemon. And so I decided to draw Charizard. Charizard has always been my favorite Pokemon. I'm not like huge into Pokemon, but when it came out, I don't know, I always liked Charizard. So that's who I decided to draw and just did it with some alcohol markers and decided to have him fill up the whole page. My son is huge into Pokemon right now. So yeah, he wanted to pick something else and I was like, nope, mama wants to do Charizard. So just showing you the whole, whole kit and caboodle. And then for the final drawing, I did a bouquet. More like an abstract bouquet, I suppose, because it's not like a typical bouquet. But yeah, went back to that jelly gouache, added some flowers on the paper, and I really like how this turned out. I don't know what these little white things would be. Um, who knows? But <laughs> I like how it turned out, and it was fun to do, and just kind of a a brain dump just throwing whatever on the paper so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this sketchbook tour I would love if you actually did the sketchbook tour for you to tag me in some of those photos if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing or hitting that like button otherwise I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day and we will see you all again soon. Thanks so much.